Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com here to show you how to use Lightroom sync settings so you can edit your photos even faster in Lightroom. So once you are in Lightroom, um, for reference, I'm in Lightroom Classic CC. Uh, once you're in Lightroom, make sure you're in the develop module and this is when you want to edit your photos. You can basically copy and paste all of the settings from one photo and apply them to the rest. That way that you can batch edit and edit even quicker. So I'm gonna be using this series of photos to demonstrate. And just to save even more time, I'm gonna be using some presets from my Storyteller collection. Now you don't have to use presets when you're editing your photos. You can use your own hand edits and or different presets um, that you like. So I'm just using this as a demonstration. So I'm gonna pick a preset from this collection. What I love about these presets is that they work really, really great for lifestyle photos. They kind of desaturate the greens, but not too much. Um, and they just have that nice storyteller look to them. So I'm gonna pick um, Storyteller 3 because I really like how it makes the skin tones look, how, you know, there's still a lot of color and brightness and it hasn't really muted the colors too much. So you can see before and after how it just, you know, toned down those greens. So the focus is on the children. Okay. So in order to copy and paste these same settings onto these photos, we are going to be using the sync option but before we do that i am going to add the sharpen i want to sharpen this image and maybe even add a a round vignette now i'm going to come down here and just adjust that vignette just a little bit i don't want it too crazy okay so once you're ready to copy and paste your settings what you do is make sure that you have your image selected and then hold down the control key or a command key on a Mac, and then select the gray area of the photos that you want to apply these same settings to. And once you do this, once you have more than one photo um, selected, this sync button will appear. If nothing is selected, or if one person is, or one photo is selected, there's not gonna be that sync button. So make sure that you have the photos selected in the right order. The main photo needs to be highlighted brighter. And that way we know that this is the photo that you want to um, copy the settings from. Okay, so when you're ready, you click on the sync button and the synchronized settings menu will show up. Now, depending on what you want to copy and paste is gonna be completely up to you but I basically want to transfer everything that I did to all of these photos. So I'm going to check all. In some inst instances, you don't really wanna to touch exposure or brushes, but we don't have any brushes selected. Um, if you were to do a brush, any kind of brush you know, on the, on the photo, then that setting is going to be applied on all of those photos. So make sure that you go through this and pick and choose which settings you want to be moved over. All right, so I am done. I didn't do any exposure or white balance adjustments, so I can actually continue. And this will automatically apply all of those same settings to these photos. Now, just looking at it quickly, I know that I might have to do some adjustments. This one looks like it's a little bright, so keeping it consistent with the other photos, I'm just going to de decrease the exposure just a little bit. Same thing with this, it looks a little bit underexposed. I'm gonna increase the exposure just a little bit just to keep it consistent with the others. And then quickly going through the other photos and making sure they align with one another. This one I could also tone down the highlights a little bit, but basically that's how you copy and paste settings in Lightroom and use the sync feature to edit your photos faster, which helps you create a faster workflow so you can edit your photos faster. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for even more Lightroom tutorials, and I'll see you next time.